Good evening, Anna. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. All right, nice. How was your day? Um, so so. <laughs> so so, really? <laughs> what did you do today? Uh, um, I'm uh, hard working. Oh, okay. It was a uh -huh. hard working day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. And oh, you already finished the work on the platform, right, Anna? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. All right, fine. Let's see, Carlos Antonio. Good evening. And good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. And you? Same. Well, fine, All fine. Right. Okay, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? It's, it's similar. So, so it's hard. <laughs> oh, it was hard as well. Okay. Yes. All right. And the platform, Carlos? How are Only, you? Only. How do you say me falta? I'm missing. The test. I'm missing the test. Oh. You're missing the test. Okay, fine. Great. Today or, or tomorrow. Uh, do it. Finish. Okay. Yes. Very well. Let's see, Vasilia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, nice. How was your day? Um, pretty good. Excellent. What did you do today? I'm working my job and cleaning, washing, uh, everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Just doing chores. <laughs> All right. And how about the platform, Basilia? Are you done? I finished. You're done, right? Yes. Okay. I finished. All right. Very good. And let me see Adriana. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, nice. How was your day? Very good. All right, excellent. What did you do today, Adrian? Um, ¿Cómo se dice yo recibí clases? I took some classes. Sí. I took classes. Okay. All right, nice. You study at the university, right? Yes. What did you What do you study? Um, clinical laboratory. Oh, okay, interesting. I have a sister who does that. That's nice. Yes, yeah, sure. Let's see, Diana Yamilet. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, nice. And how was your day, Diana? It's very good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Elsie Gabriela, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, nice. How was your day? Uh, so, so. So, so, really? What did you do yeah. today? Uh, really nothing. Oh, okay. I received class. Only classes. You had classes. Okay. Yes. All right. That's great. You only had your classes and that was it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Flora Esmeralda, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Flor? Very good. Thanks. Okay. Excellent. How was your day? Very good. Nice. What did you do today, Flor? Mm, 
work in my, my house, in work uh, through the, my phone, um, clean, cooking. Okay, housework. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, that's nice, Flor. And let me see, Boris Rodriguez, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, thank you. For All right, nice. I'm doing well, thank you. How was your day, Boris? Um, I was working in another place, but uh, it was interesting. Oh, all right, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, Boris, and how about the platform? Have you finished? Yeah, yeah, I'm finished. All right. Yes. Okay, that's great. Let me see, and Anderson Garcia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Everything is okay. Okay, nice. And how about your day? How was it? I'm fine. I, uh, I had a, a free day. I watch TV in the morning. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, I, I study. Okay, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. And let me see Gabriela Teresan. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Uh, today I was work um, and I stay, I, I have a, a workshop in my in the company okay. and it's a good and inter, interesting day oh all right that's very nice and let me see francisco alexander good evening hi good evening too how are you i'm fine um okay. i have a day interesting Oh, you had an interesting day? Nice. Yes. What happened? Tell me about it. Mm, I have two meetings. Okay. I have, I have, I have three. And I have two Yes, meetings. I have. <clears throat> yes. Uh, um, two clients accept the proposal. Oh, all um, right. Yes. Um, how my, my work? <laughs> Okay, I'm glad to hear that you have, you had a good day. And yes. Let's see. Charlie, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. All right, nice. How was your day? Very good. Okay, great. In my lab, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Emma? I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Great. I'm doing well. Thanks. How about your day? How was it? Uh, I'm tired. Oh, okay. You had a tiring day. Did you work? Yes, I work in Texas. All right. Okay. And the platform, Emma, how are you doing? In section. Five. You're in section five. Okay, yes. awesome. Cool. Keep working. Let's see, Esmeralda Hernandez. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Esmeralda? Five. Okay, great. How was your day? Uh, Section five. Oh, you're in section five in the platform. Okay, great. You're almost done. Keep going. And okay, so I think we're ready to start. Let me just get my presentation and let me share the screen. Yeah. 
just before we start, do we have any questions, any doubts about any of the exercises or the topics in the platform? Anything? Maybe not. Okay, so if we do not have any questions, let's go ahead with the work that I have prepared. And we are going to start by reviewing the questions with do and does, right? The yes no questions in the simple present. So let me remind you that the structure we follow is this one. We have do or does, then the subject, then the verb, and then the complement. And then another important thing is to add the question mark. So we indicate that we are making a question, right? It's interrogative form. And uh, remember that we use the auxiliaries depending on the subject. We use do for what subjects? What are the subjects that they do? do? I, you? We, they. We and they. And that is for? He, she, it. She, he, she, it. She, it. Perfect. Okay, and here we have the same examples that we that we practiced yesterday, we got, do you like electronic music? In order to answer, you say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she like shrimps? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Do they love orange juice? Yes, they do. Or no, they don't. And can you give me some more examples of yes, no questions using do or does? Let's see. Mm. Do you like the beach? Do you like the beach? Okay, nice. Any other? It can be with do or does. Any other questions? No, teacher. Okay. All right. So here I got some uh, some prompts. So we keep on practicing questions. We do you like? We are going to ask uh, each other questions using the information here. It goes like: Do you like ice cream? Do you like country music? Do you like drawing? Do you like English? Do you like board games? Do you like cats? Do you like dogs? And so on. And we are going to provide short answers. So let me start by asking Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen, do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. All right. I love, I love. <laughs> you love it, nice. Okay, now Ana, you ask another question to one of your classmates, please. Um. Uh, yo escojo a quién. Yes, you choose. Ah, va. Carlos Landa Verde. Yes, uh, I am. <laughs> do you like uh, country music? Yes, I do. I like, I love it. The Fleetwood Mac. Oh. It's country oh. music. <laughs> yes. Okay, Carlos, continue asking. <clears throat> Okay, Elsie Gabriela. Do you like drawing? Uh, yes, I do. I love it. Okay, very well. Elsie, now you make a question to another person, please. Okay. Uh, Uh, Flor Esmeralda. Uh, do you like English? Yes, I do. Very well. Flor, continue asking. Uh, Adriana. Sí. 
Adriana, do you like broad games? Board games. Board games. ¿Qué es eso, teacher? Uh, board games, juegos de mesa. Uh, no, I don't. You don't like them, okay. Adriana, uh, continue asking, please. Um, Ailey. Ailey, do you like chocolate? Uh, yes, I like chocolate. Okay, Ailey, now it's your turn to ask. Mm. Carlos? Uh, Carlos, do you like cat? Carlos Ruano. Carlos Antonio. Oh, Carlos Antonio. Okay, Carlos Antonio has already participated. So let's ask Carlos Ruano, okay? Okay. Thanks. Okay, yes. Yes, I like. Okay, continue asking, Carlos. Okay. Emma, do you like flowers? No, I don't. All right, Emma, continue asking. Basilia, do you like snake? No, I don't like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basilia, now you ask. Gabriela Teresa, do you like those? I don't. Okay, Gabriela, choose another person and ask. Uh, Charlie, do you like... Um, um, do you like fish? Yes, I like. Okay. Now, Charlie, continue, please. Okay. Um, Flor, uh, do you like lizards? Um, I think Flor has participated. So how about we choose um, another person, please? Okay. Um, Gabriela Teresa. Gabriela has participated as well. So how about Ana Veronica? Can you repeat the question, please, Charlie? Okay. Ana Veronica, do you like lizards? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es eso? Perdón. Lizards are, a, how do you say, lagartijas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I don't, I don't like. Okay, now Anna, continue asking, please. Let me see who's missing. How about you ask boys? Uh, boys. Do you like chocolate? Yes, I do. Okay, Boris, you ask Anderson. Uh, Anderson, do you like apple juice? Yes, I do. Okay, now Anderson, let me see who's missing. You ask Claudia de Panameño. Claudia, do you like teddy bears? Claudia, are you there? Okay, let's ask Diana Yamilet then. <laughs> mm. 
me. Wow. Um, can you repeat the question, please? Yes. <clears throat> you like two beers? Like just three beers, teacher. Teddy bears, uh, also the peluche. Ah, okay. Yes, I do. Okay, nice. Now uh, you ask Diana Yamilet, you ask Dina Contreras. Okay. Dina Contreras, do you like flowers? Yes. I like flower. Okay, very well, Dina. Now you ask a question too. Let me see who hasn't participated. Oh, is anybody missing? Claudia, Claudia O? I don't know. Claudia, okay. Claudia. Hello? Claudia O. Oh. Yes, go okay. ahead. <laughs> Claudia, do you like uh, fish? Um, Yes, I like. Okay, very good. Is there anybody who has not participated? I think everybody has. Okay, everybody has participated, nice. All right, so, tell, tell me, Anna. Uh, what's the meaning draw, drawing? Drawing, dibujar. Mm. Dibujar. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions about the vocabulary? Maybe not. No, teacher. No. no. Okay, fine. So let's continue by watching a video from the platform. And then we are going to talk about the topic, today's topic. And it's four point. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does, along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does, do, does. Did you notice the changes that occur when we use the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Thus, he play the piano. If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, 
as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Okay, as you see, we have two different kinds of questions, which you already know. We got the yes, no questions and the WH questions, right? And here we have some different examples. We got, do you like rap? And then the different answers we could give. Does he play the piano? Do they like the Beatles? And those are yes, no, right? Because you can answer only by saying yes or by saying the negative no. Then we have the WH questions. For example, what kind of music do you like? Here you require more information, right? What kind of music? You have to mention that specific kind that you like. What does he play? What does he play? You have to mention the musical instrument that he plays. Who do they like? Who do they like? You have to answer to that who. So that would be the difference between the yes, no questions and WH questions. Remember, yes, no are questions that you can answer with those two simple words. And the WH questions require more information. Now let's practice. Everybody repeat, please. Do you like rap? Do you like rap? Do you like, do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. Yes, I do. I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't. It, sorry. No, I don't like it very much. No, I don't, I like, don't it like it very much. Does he play the piano? Does, does he play, play the, the piano? piano? Um, yes, he does. Yes, yes he, does. he does. No, he doesn't. No, no, no he doesn't. doesn't. Do they like the Beatles? Do they like, do the, Beatles? like the Beatles? Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. Yes, they yes, do. I they, do. Love them. they love them. No, they don't. Oh, sorry, I I wasn't. Oh. Okay, so let me read it again. No, they don't like them very much. No, they, they don't, don't like, like them, them very much. much. What kind of music do you like? What, what kind, kind of music, of music do, you like? do you like? I like rock a lot. I, I like, like rock, rock a lot. lot. A lot. A lot. What does he play? What does, does he play? play? He plays the guitar. He plays, he plays the, play the guitar. guitar. Who do they like? Who do they, Who do they, like? they like? They like you too. They, they like, like you, too. you too. Okay, then we have the list of object pronouns. Repeat, please. Me. 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 You. 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 Him, 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 hair, hair, hair it, 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 us, us, us them, them, them. Okay, and um, now let me continue by talking about the information questions with the WH words, right? So let's remember that we have different WH question words. Um, the first one is what, and we use it for asking about different things or for requiring some, in, some specific information. We can use what in questions or in phrases such as what kind, what color, what time. Then we have the word who, which is to ask about people. Where is to ask about places. When is to ask about time. And how is to ask about manner. And we can also use how in different phrases, such as how much, how many, how often. And now let's repeat them. Everybody say what. 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 What kind. What kind. What color. What color. What color. What time? What time? What time? Who? 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 Where? 
Where? Where? When? Where? When? 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 How? 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 How much? How, How much? much? How many? How many? How many? How often? How often? Okay, and just remember to make the distinction in pronunciation from this word and this one. So we have who and how. Repeat please, who? 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 How? 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 Okay, how. now let me tell you that the structure that we use to make WH questions is this one. We use a WH word. It could be any of the ones we already practiced. And then we have the auxiliary do or does. After that, we are the subject and then just the complement, right? And oh, I forgot to write the verb over there. Oops, we got uh, the subject and here the verb as well. And remember that the verb has to be in the in the base form or in the infinitive all the time. It doesn't matter if we are referring to the third person, we always use the verb in the infinitive. And we got, we got some examples. For example, we say, what do you do? Where does she live? When do we start our English classes? How many watches do you have? and how to answer them. Let's practice. We got, what do you do? What can be an answer for that question? Any ideas? Mm -hmm. What do you do? What can we answer? Cuando preguntamos como a que se dedica. Yes. So tell me a possible answer, please. I am a teacher. Okay, very well. I am a teacher. Okay, so that is the question to ask about profession or, or occupation, right? So you could say, I am a teacher, I am an engineer, I am a firefighter, I am, a, what else? I am a policeman, and just any occupation you may have. Then we have the second question, where does she live? What can we answer? She does live in Santa Ana. Okay, we say she lives in Santa Ana. Okay, then we have, when do we start our English classes? Mm. When do we start our English classes? Answer? We we start our English classes. When? At 8 p.m. Right at 8 p.m. Good. And the next one, how many watches do you have? What can you tell me? I have two watches. I have two watches. All right, that is how we answer the WH questions. Remember that we always have to provide the information that we are asked for. And now everybody repeat, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do, you do? Where does she live? Where does, Where does, does she live? live? Where does she live? When do we start our English classes? When, when do we start, start our English, English classes? classes. classes. Yes. How many watches do you have? How many, How many watches, watches do you have? Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. And by doing some practice. So here I have some different exercises that I want you to solve. And as usual, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you work together with some of your classmates. And let me tell you what we are going to do in each of the, of the exercises. We got exercise A, make questions using the auxiliaries do and does, and then write short answers. Okay, so we got this information. 
And you have to make the questions. For example, the first one, you play soccer. How do we make the question? Do you play? Do you play soccer? Do you play soccer? Do you play soccer? Yes. Do you play soccer? And then you have to write the short answers. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Mm -hmm. That is what you have to do with all eight sentences. Then the next exercise is a speaking exercise. Here you have to complete the questions orally and you have to ask and answers. So you go, uh, for example, by saying, what kind of music do you listen to? And you ask one of your classmates. Then your classmate has to answer, I like salsa music. And well, you can ask different classmates and remember you have to complete the questions before asking. Then in exercise C, we have to make questions from the answers. Here we have, we work on Sundays. What would be the question uh, over there? We work on Sundays. What's the question? When do you work? No, no, Very I good. don't. When do you work? When, when do you work? work? We work on Sundays. Very well. That is what you have to do in that exercise. So let me send you to the breakout rooms now. And we are going to have 20 minutes to practice. Then we come back and we check. Okay, there you go. I'm sending the practice to the WhatsApp group. Teacher, puede agregarme a un grupo. Es que me sacó de nuevo la, de la reunión. Oh, okay, por don't mi worry, internet. Anna. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to add you right now. Okay. Okay, Anna, let me know if you get the invitation. Uh, no me aparece, quizá me voy a salir y voy a volver a entrar tal vez. Okay, fine. Okay, Anna, I just sent you again. Did you get the invitation this time? Do they brother? O sea, como, como los hermanos de ellos. Como que, que le they... está uh, okay. Como que le está preguntando a varios. Ajá, uh ajá, -huh, uh -huh. sí, sí, tienen razón. Es uh -huh. Do you have, do you have any questions? Uh -huh. 
No, la segunda teacher, estábamos discutiendo si era tú o das, pero es tú. En number two, sí. but you're talking about number brother, two, number three. Number three. Uh, yes, it says your brother traveled by bus. It's only one brother. So what do you say? Is it do or das? Sí, cabal. What is it? Do or does? Okay. Yo pienso que do porque dice today. Como que le está preguntando a varios que si su, sus hermanos. No. Usted está en la dos. Yes, sí, so we dos. have they in number two. Do ah, they perdón. read books? Uh -huh. Ah, perdón, yes. es que me he confundido. Do they. Uh -huh. Okay, don't worry. Yes, in number two, we use do. Do they read do. books? Okay. In, uh -huh. in number, number three, three, what do you say? In number three, it would be you, brothers. No, aquí sería, aquí creo que sería does, does to brothers. Yes, you're right. Does number four, does. Sería das your brother travel by the rubber. And remember you have to practice the short answers as well. Yes, yes, sería he does. No, yes, hit. Yes, it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, he does. Sí. Yes, it does. Es que le está preguntando que sus hermanos okay. viajen en el bus. Ah, que ah no, estamos, no, en, no, el estamos en el cuatro. Ah, perdón, perdón. <risa> Yo voy a atrasar. Ajá, estamos hablando del perro. <risa> ok. Entonces Ajá. aquí en el perro sería, sería... En el perro sería das, perdón. Das. Sí, sería das. Aunque como es plural tengo la duda porque cuando es plural eh, creo que es de pero no estoy segura um, me help you no, pongámoslo en no, dos y aunque nos corrí lo que pasa es de que si están haciendo por ejemplo el es it It's dog like cat, mm -hmm. pero también puede ser das, porque como el perro, depende, hay personas que, o sea, en el inglés, es el it, que como una cosa, ¿verdad? que denomina sí. al animal, pero sí, hay personas que le sí, pueden que... poner como das. Es que si fuera como solo un perro, sí, pero ahí me entra la duda a mí, porque cuando es plural, aunque sea una cosa, Creo que es, se utiliza el day, pero mejor hay que preguntar esa parte. Um, you are right, day. Ana Verónica. In this case, dogs would be plural, so we have to use do with that one. And as you mentioned, if it's only one dog, we replace it with it. If it's two or more dogs, then we use it as they. Ah, ok. Sí, algo así tenía entendido. Ya me aclaró, gracias. Ok. Entonces sería eh, do, do dogs like cats? Sería la pregunta. That's right. Eh, la respuesta sería... No, they don't. Exactly. Y en el de los monos igual, ¿verdad? Porque es plural. Yes. Yes, it's Entonces, the same case. Eat banana. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. That's correct. They, they do, ¿verdad? Yes. Yep. 
Sí, creo que sí, lo mismo sería. Hello, how are you doing? Did you finish? No. No, no teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so what exercise are you in? English. Okay, fine. En la respuesta sería I listen o I, I don't listen. I don't. Yeah, what time? Sí, yo creo que sí sería listen o I don't listen. I think. Por eso como es que... ¿Qué tipo de música? ¿Qué tipo? Ajá, ¿Qué tenemos que responder música? con algo. You have Largo. to mention the kind of music you like. So you can say, yes. I listen to bachata, I listen to reggaeton, I listen to rock, I listen to, what else, salsa, cumbia, salsa. or just whatever genre you like. Okay. Gracias, Okay. Teacher and the, um, exercise. Um, I, I need to create the possible uh, question that the possible answer. Uh, for what example, exercise? Uh, Sorry, what exercise are you talking about? Um, la, uh, Sí, make questions from the following answers. Uh, yes. Is the create a possible question? If you have uh, the answers. There you have the answers and you have to make the questions. Uh, you have to ask for the highlighted um, information. Tiene que hacer la pregunta eh, con respecto a la información que está, um, how to say highlighted? que está marcada en color. Por ejemplo, we work on Sundays. La pregunta sería, when do we work? When do we work on Sundays? That's the answer. Okay. Thank right. you, teacher. Okay.
What time do normally wake up? Okay. What do normally wake up? Mm -hmm. I normally uh, wake up on six on six a.m. Ahora usted me pregunta a mí, Vladimir. Uh, what are you doing in the morning? Mm, I drink coffee in the morning. Uh, Flor, what time do you usually go to bed? ¿Qué me está preguntando, perdón? Eh, ¿A qué hora se va a la cama? What time? Uh, eh, es cuando pregunta ajá, la hora. Um, sí. Entonces igual, uh, eh, puede empezar respondiendo con la misma. I usually y I lo siguiente. I usually to go to bed uh -huh. in night p.m. Night. Okay. At nine. At nine p.m. Okay. Ahora Entonces, si le le a mm -hmm. sí, sí. How do sí. you get Así to work? Mm. Como tu qué get? Perdón. Es como se ¿Trabajo? traslada o cómo se va el trabajo. Ok. I get to work. On bus, my así? car. And... Um, Vladimir, where do you have lunch? Pero me quiero ver qué me está preguntando. Este, ah, we, ¿dónde? I, I have lunch in the office. <laughs> ok. Why lunch? Mm -hmm. eh, creo que me toca preguntar, vea. Where do you yes. live? I live in San Salvador. Uh, Lord, when do you when do you go shopping? Um, I am in shopping. Please, my I, I go. Sería. I go shopping. Please, my mother. Uh, pero la pregunta es when es eh, cuando. Ah, cuando. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí. I go shopping on Sunday. Okay. Ahora, Ailey, how many days a week do you work? Este, aquí es como... How many, cuantos? Uh, ¿Cuántos días voy al trabajo o algo así? Uh -huh. yep. uh, I many five days. I work five days a week. Okay. Trabajo cinco días a la semana. I work five days a week. Work five days a week. Yes. Y ahí terminamos con las preguntas de la B. Sí. <ríe> Hacemos la tercera. Sí. sí. Eh, dice May question from the following answer. Ya se la tenemos que hacer como la pregunta. Sí. Uh -huh. Vaya. Entonces, en la primera, como dice 
we work on Sundays? Está respondiendo el día que va eh, que van a trabajar. Bueno, que vamos. Es bueno. Entonces Ajá. sería... When. When do when we... They. O when we. No. When do we... When do we work? When do we work on Sunday? When ah, no. do we work? work? Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Work. When do we work? When do we work? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. Um, did you finish? Did anybody finish? No, teacher. Nobody did? Okay. All right, don't worry about it. Tomorrow we are going to continue working on this practice and we're going to check the exercises as well. So that will be all for today's class. Thanks everybody for your attention. Take care and have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night teacher. Good night, 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 teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night.